Hello students, I am Salman from Optimum Educators. This is a demo of a CBSC chapter. Please don't forget to like our video, share our video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications on the updates of different CBSC related chapters. And friends, you can buy a detailed explanation of all our chapters from our website www.optimumeducators.com and amazon.com and flipkart.com. Now let us go on to the demo of the chapter and for any queries you can comment in the comment box below. Thank you. Hello students, let us go on to the demo of your chapter number 12 of your science syllabus standard 10 NCERT that is your chapter electricity. Guys this chapter electricity is the most basic chapter which you should know very well so that you can understand the physics phenomena pretty well. Physics may both important portion hai electricity which you should always know so that you can go on to the higher concepts. Let's start the chapter. So guys why is electricity important to us or why is the study of electricity is important to us because if you take any home appliance it works on electricity. So electricity in our home is needed for a lot of purposes, right? You know electricity is, is needed to run our TV, to charge our mobile, right? To charge our laptop, right? If I want to play some music, then even the music player requires electricity, right? Music player. Similarly, let's say if I want to iron my clothes, so an electric iron will also need electricity. Right? If I want to take bath with hot water, electric heater requires electricity, right? So I'll just correct my spelling, electric heater, electric iron. Now electric heater requires electricity. There are all together a lot of things in our house, home appliances which require electricity. Hence, electricity is a very important part of our life. Agar ghar pe do ghante ke liye bhi electricity chale aati hai, we are tired and we are in a case of trouble. Hamara sab kaam ruk jada hai, padai bhi nahi kar sakte, right? So electricity forms a very important part of one's life. But in this chapter guys, we'll basically study how does electricity gets generated. Two, three things we'll study. Sabse pehle we'll study about electricity and electric circuits. Then later on in the chapter we'll see ke electricity ko generate kaisa kiya jata hai, okay? So now let's start the chapter. So guys, First of all, you need to study in electricity the concept of electric current. For that, let me take you an example or let me take you through an example. Let's say guys, this is one tank of full of water. Okay, what is this tank? This is a tank full of water. Okay, let's say you have another tank out here. It has little bit of water and what am I doing is I am, let's say connecting a pipe. What am I doing? I'm connecting a pipe like this. So let's say this is my pipe. So friends, when I connect a pipe from this tank to this tank, what will happen? Water will start flowing, right? So water will start flowing from the higher level to the lower level, right? A tank, one tank is at a high level, other tank is at a lower level. So I can say this is high level tank, yeah, high level. This is a low level. So water will flow from where to where? Water will definitely flow from, this will be water flow water generally flows from high level to low level. Now, electricity ki language mein, level is called potential. What is it called? Level is called potential. So basically what is happening? This is high potential. What will be this called? This is called high potential. And this is called low level ya low potential. So what is seen guys? Can I say water is flowing from high potential to low potential? Right, so I can write down a note, water flows from high potential to low potential. Now guys, a similar thing happens in an electric circuit. If you draw an electric circuit, let me draw an electric circuit. Let's say you have an electric circuit, something like this. Okay, I'll make wires and in this electric circuit, let's say you have a bulb, okay, you have a bulb, 
Okay, so I'll just draw a bulb. Let's say this is your bulb. And in this electric circuit, you have a battery. Okay, you know the bada wala portion of the battery. Ye jo bada wala portion hai, iske kaha jata hai positive terminal. Isse kaha jata hai negative terminal. Okay, so guys, if you have this electric circuit and you have a battery in this electric circuit, so what will happen? Current will start flowing in this electric circuit, right? Agar jaise isko maine on kar diya. So what will happen? Current will start flowing in this particular circuit. Now, friends, just imagine like this: that high level, low level, right? High means high. High means positive. So this can be treated as this is the positive terminal, I may say. Or low means niche. Niche means negative. So I can call this as a negative terminal. So friends, as water flows. From high potential to low potential, upper se ni high potential to low potential, and yani usi tarah se current also flows from high potential to low potential. Now, what do you mean by that? High potential is positive, low potential is negative. That means the current will flow from high potential to low potential. That means it will start from here, high potential, positive. Say it will flow to negative potential, right? So I can just write that down. Current flows from high potential high potential that means positive to low potential that means negative okay i'll just write down the sign negative so is circuit mein jis tarah se water flow hota hai same direction mein current bhi flow hoga that is this will be the direction of current flow remember one thing guys जो करंट का फ्लो होता है ना ऑपोजिट टू दैट विल बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इफ करंट इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू नेगेटिव टर्मिनल हाई पोटेंशियल टू नो लो पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल फ्लो ऑपोजिट दैट इज दे विल फ्लो फ्रॉम लो पोटेंशियल टू हाई पोटेंशियल दे विल फ्लो फ्रॉम लो पोटेंशियल टू हाई पोटेंशियल ओके वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में कन्वेंशनल करंट इज ऑलवेज ऑपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ करंट ओके फाइन so if in the circuit if the uh, i can say current is flowing like this right i'm showing like this then the electrons will flow in the opposite fashion they'll start from the negative and they'll go on to the positive okay it's exactly the reverse ye jo main aap dikha raha hu i'm just showing current now you can understand that what exactly happens to my what my electrons 